Our Bible story for our little ones from the Jesus Storybook Bible is Let's Go. It's the beginning of Jesus' public ministry. So it's right after he's baptized in the Jordan River by his cousin John. The Spirit drives Jesus into the desert where he gets to face off with Satan. Right? The devil comes to him uh, in a couple of different forms and tries to tempt him with lots of things that Adam and Eve were tempted with and Israel was tempted with for their 40 years of wandering in the desert. Right? Uh, and Jesus overcomes these things. He says no three times over to three different temptations. And each time Jesus is quoting the Bible, he's quoting the word of God to overcome the devil, overcome temptations. There's a clue there for us in our lives, right? When we need to try to overcome a temptation to do something wrong, it's good to know what God says, what God teaches through the Bible and through his church. We can combat temptations to do wrong. So Jesus starts off doing that, and then he goes out and he starts calling apostles, calling disciples. Sometimes they're called different words, right? A disciple means student. Apostle means one who's sent out. There were actually lots of disciples. There were only 12 apostles. So Jesus is calling these 12 apostles, these guys, to help him with this ministry, this rescue mission to save humanity and to preach the good news to people. And who does he pick? He doesn't go after the kings. He doesn't go after the soldiers. He doesn't go after the strong, the important, the popular ones. He goes after ordinary people, fishermen, guys that society didn't think much of. I mean, they were they were there, they were an important part of society, they got fish for people so they could eat it, but they weren't the most important people in society. And in some cases, they were kind of the lowest, some of them. So what's that message there for you little ones in your homes? God can work through anyone, God can work through you, God wants to work through you to be an active member of your household, to speak to your siblings, to your parents, to your neighbors, to your friends, to your teachers. He wants to work through you. He's saying, let's go. <laughs> so let's respond to Jesus. Let's know what God says in his word and in his church teaching. And let's go out and bring Jesus to the world. 